What's up? Just because I'm broken doesn't mean I'm not giving a tutorial. Again, that's all time. This is a video I don't want to do. We're going to do a hook grip. <laughs> I don't know why it's fucking not common sense, but it's not. But uh, black leg is still black and swollen, but I'm doing it anyways. So I have these uh, kind of doing a rack pull on the strap to dead stop. It's what I can do right now with the adductor tear and the fraternity tear. So the partial ranges work for me. But you might notice the bar is a little thick. I've got a squat bar here instead of a power bar or a deadlift bar. And that's probably the best way to learn how to hook grip. The thicker bar is actually more of a challenge for you to get through, but you start learning to not create space. Where that space comes from is people don't acknowledge the pinky and ring finger. I talk about that with the regular deadlift as far as the extra rotation, but there's a different type of rotation that has to happen with the hand for hook grip. You have to rotate up, which is the advantage of the hook grip is it gives you a half inch less range of motion with the pull because as you turn the pinky upside, you tighten to the bar, leave no space for the thumb, and that's a longer pull than here. So straight wrist, you run it, you run it, you run it, who the fuck cares? Anyways, I'm gonna grab on the smooth. One, the big thing with hook grip is it often tears people's fingers. So you wanna condition the skin first. The best way to do that is on a smooth of the squat bar if you have one, or a smooth or regular running bar, or a really, really worn out one. That will get you used to the hook. So we're gonna come and secure the finger under the first two fingers. Some people go three. They have really long fingers, that's fine. I'm gonna secure under here, and then you're gonna watch. I'm gonna turn my pinky up towards the bar. Notice what that does, it automatically locks out the elbow, right? So that's a nice elongated arm. I'm not gonna worry about the bicep at that point. And then I'm gonna take that, that turn up and turn back. Now the bar's being pulled into me, and I can come up. That's a very secure hit. And I'm on the smooth, secure on the smooth. So if you can be secure on the smooth, the knurling makes it that much easier for it. Coming down. So, Set the two fingers, pinkies hard up in the bar, which locks those elbows, excellent rotate, which locks the lats, squeeze them through. And that's all day long, that's not going anywhere, that bar is hooked in there, solid. The mistake people make is, they just wrap the thumb, and then it's slick, and there's space for the hands to move, and then when they yank the bar, it pops through. Or, if they don't turn up, that thumb is right here, and so are these two fingers, that's what catches on the leg and pulls it open. By turning it up, you angle the thumb in a way that doesn't hit the thighs.